Oh, I'm hearing reloads. Yeah, yeah. Very tactical of you to scream out when you're reloading. <laughs> <laughs> He's by himself. <laughs> I need to reload. Oh, I feel so bad for that guy. <laughs> I, I, I swear I could see Moo's eyes start to glow when he just says, I'm reloading! Everyone, I am reloading! Everyone, my mag is empty! <laughs> my pants are down! I cannot shoot you right now! <laughs> I am unable to do anything in order to prevent you from killing me! Fuck defense, we're all offense! Tom Clancy's The Division 2. A game that potentially could have been called... Tom Clancy's The Division... But apparently, Ubisoft declined my valuable advice. Hey, 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 I don't even know what the Division 1 is. You expect me to know what the Division 2 is? Come on, guy. You don't remember that catastrophic virus that spread like a pandemic through New York City? Plunging society into total chaos and giving rise to criminals hell-bent on seizing control of the city and eradicating anyone that they even mildly suspect is infected, like the cleaners? Is that a cold sore on your lip? Prepare to be torched in gasoline. None of that rings a bell. And the Division are the good guys, the government agents trying to restore order, contain the virus, and choke slam the criminals. Still not remembering anything. Fine. Do you remember that game where you tactically close car door? Oh, hell yeah! I love that shit! Door. Don't let the door hear you. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the Division. In fact, players closed over seven billion car doors in the first one. So why not make a second one? Alright, you ready for this double kill? Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bam. Like, I've, I've never done heroin, but I have to imagine it's pretty similar to what it's like closing two doors at once. Yes. A quick thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video and flying me out to play it early. So if you'd like to check out The Division 2 for yourself, there's a link down below that is super easy to click on. And just to hit you with some context right off the bat, the game takes place in Washington, D.C. seven months after the events of the original Division. In case you're not from the U.S., Washington, D.C. is that city with the big-ass White House where our president lives that the aliens blew up in Independence Day. I don't know how to transition from aliens blowing up the most important building in our country Country, but the two major aspects of the game that Ubisoft showed off to us were Dark Zone, which to my surprise was actually <clears throat> dark. So is anybody else surprised that the Dark Zone is actually dark? Dark, yeah. <laughs> nice. That was a that very astute observation there, Badger. And Conflict, which is the standard PvP mode that took me a little while to get good at. Don't thirst me. Don't yes. thirst me. Don't thirst me. Le <sighs> <laughs> See you later, brother. But with a squad of Tuxbird, Wildcat, Moo, and myself, Dark Zone was the place to be. With it being so incredibly goofy, like just the enemies alone were absurd. God damn it! I'm dead. God, I love the swearing. Oh wow, good shot. Whoever that was. 95,000 damage. You didn't. Damage. You didn't even let him finish his sentence. <laughs> God damn it! I'm pit. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I am peeing I'm here. I am peeing. Think of it as nine minutes of fooling around and exploring the environment. Hey, hey, do you want to get some licks over here? How do I return? How do I respawn? <laughs> yes. God, it's like it's it's like it's like Brondo. I can respawn on the fun starts with a drink of cola. Punctuated by one minute of pure panic, where you have no idea what the fuck. Oh my God, the everything fuck is blowing up. Brother, everything is happening. <laughs> Brother, I am hit. Oh. Brother, oh, brother, I need a right revive. There. Come here. Brother. Brother. I'm not gonna lie. You can just no, let can, me die. Get just let me die. The whole idea of the Dark Zone is high risk, high reward. So, on one hand, you're put up against terrifying baddies that are virtually bulletproof and hell bent on crushing your bones into dust. Boy, oh my this, God. this man's Look at stupid this thick. Modeling. Look at him. Oh my God. That, that is a whole ass man right there. Come ah! here, you big dummy. Here, I'm let going me melee him. Melee. I'll melee him. Melee! Beat his ass. Yeah, beat his ass! <laughs> this guy's like a human armadillo. Kill him! <laughs> Kick his Come ass, on. Come on. ass! Oh god, you just got your shit rocked. Look <laughs> like how he just has the grenade launcher. He's like, I can't really use this close range. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh, yeah! Armor. Thank oh, you. Sick god! What does that say about us as a squad? Like we're just so armed. It's like I'm glad I came to work strapped. Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> we just melee, melee the strongest <laughs> enemy in the game. Great. But on the other hand, if you can outlast this onslaught of walking, talking nightmares, you are handsomely rewarded with the most important resource that every human being needs to survive. Sweet loot. Oh, and he dropped something blue. A badger durability gloves, badger. Oh, you got, you, this guy you had got, your gloves this whole time. <laughs> I knew it. That's where they. I knew it. That's why he was missing his shots. Come get him. Come get your gloves. 
Actually, wait, I can mark it as junk. This son of a bitch had my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this has been all I sh about. I shouldn't have shot him in the hands. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you may be thinking, are you really going to risk your life and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the most ruthless criminals in the DC metro area just for some dumbass gear? And to that, I retort once again... Sweet loot. Yeah, surplus yes, SVP. Yes, Moo, I'm glad you have new gloves. You don't have to rub it on all of our faces. Check them out. <laughs> <laughs> but not all of this loot is equal, because there's a special kind of loot called contaminated loot, which they call contaminated loot because it's... Well, it, 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 it's, con it's contaminated. I got some contaminated loot. Moo, I totally wish that you could just dust off or just kind of wipe off contaminated loot and just, just take a gamble as to whether or not it infects <laughs> it you. It kills you. Yeah, <laughs> just you like wipe it off and you go, <laughs> it's fine, bro, five seconds. Bro. This kind of loot differs from other kinds of loot because it has to be extracted via helicopter at designated zones. And boy, do I ever feel sorry for whoever has that job. It's like covered in green goo. Hey, yes. clean this off, guy. <laughs> <laughs> random helicopter taxi man. Beyond contaminated loot, there's even dark zone drops that adhere to our aforementioned rule of high risk, high reward. Open DZ drop. It's actually right, pronounced DZ's. D's drops. Open these drops. Oh, open D's drop. What is, is that? that a frag oh. grenade? I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'll take it. What? What are you going to do? Explode or something? <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happened. Both my eyeballs still intact. Thankfully, securing this loot and evading an untimely death becomes significantly easier once you realize how strapped your characters are. Believe me when I say that these guys are packing more heat than a hot pocket. God, these characters are so strapped. I have like 900 bullets. Yeah, I have a thousand. <laughs> it's like, where are you keeping these, man? These reserves are crazy. Open your backpack. It's like protein powder at 900 rounds. <laughs> I started off thinking that an aggressive approach with a D DMR and stealthy frag grenades was the way to go. Uh, I don't mean to alarm you, but uh, going loud, going loud. <laughs> frag out, on. watch out behind oh. the tree, behind the tree. Oh, I'm gonna nail that I, guy. I, yep. <laughs> I missed half no, of no, that no. magazine, by the Dude, way. That's probably my fault. I shouldn't have screamed going loud and then missed half my mag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch this stealth kill. You ready to see this stealth kill? Stealth assassin. Watch the stealth. Stealth kill. Oh. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Well, come on, pal. What do you expect when I'm not using a mouse and keyboard? On top of the fact that every enemy in this game is beefier than ground chuck, so I adopted a new policy that I like to call not an LMG, not interested. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. <laughs> no, you know what? Blind fire is always good in these situations. Don't even worry about it. I got 800 more rounds. Yeah, you better run. We gotta hold this line. Badger, you're in a bad spot. Man. Nah, I got this, Chief. Oh, that was a horrible I'm grenade. I'm loading into her face. Come got on, him. Buddy. I got Pod Mike so oh, hard. Rock, you didn't see anything. Game in. Badger's Thirst. Nice. Thirst. Yeah, you're damn right, brother. It's all this tactical rolling that I got going on. Maybe you gun nuts out there can help me out because I was arguing with my squad that a Tech 9 is technically an LMG if you give it a box mag, which I think is just facts. I'm so ready to run up on somebody's block with a Tech 9. <laughs> And 800 bullets. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Where's the drum mag when you need it? It's like six times the weight of the gun itself. It's a belt hero. fed tech <laughs> nine. You just have a duffel bag full of ammo. Oh, they almost got the helo. Because reloading is stupid. <laughs> but I'll try to lay off the weapon chatter for now, because the division has massive damage values, and all the math that Wildcat was forcing me to do has me jaded. I'm here to murder, not to multiply. Hunting M44. It does 42,000 damage. It's a few, that's a few damage. It's a few. <laughs> a few. The description of the weapon, it hurts. <laughs> Somebody run the math on this for me. Uh, 3.2 thousand damage at 1.2 thousand RPM versus 6.5 thousand damage at 6 point or 660 RPM. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I, I, you know what? You this just, one looks you cooler, just do what, so it's better. Do what your heart tells you. Now, another feature of the Dark Zone is that it's not only PvE, but it's technically PvE VP, which means you're not only fighting AI bad guys, but you're also fighting other human bad guys. And beating the same dead horse I've been smacking this whole video, high risk. High reward. As in, you can steal things, kill fellow human players, and overall betray the division to get really awesome loot really quickly in what is formally called going rogue. Okay, okay, let okay. me pull the pin okay. on a frag and hold then we'll on, go for hold it. on. We'll go rogue, alright? Okay, go rogue, go rogue. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> oh, she no, turned no, around. No, no, no. I got a legion. Oh god, no. Wow. 
Oh, she that just did not turned work. around and blasted just very me. Poorly. Never felt so embarrassed and so dead at the same time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I have to admire the durability of that girl's head. That took like a solid <laughs> mag and a half. I had time to reload and she still did not go down. Okay, so attempt one at betraying all of our friendly agents and being a malevolent piece of shit. Unsuccessful, but we figured we were safe if we didn't do it again until another squad went rogue on us. Well, now we are gonna die. Uh oh, 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 no! No! <laughs> oh, oh my out, right? god! Good I like Moose timing, and now we're definitely gonna die. I just get <laughs> shot in the mouth. So, in my opinion, going rogue not worth the better loot. Not worth. So I made it my personal mission to make sure my teammates were never blinded by greed ever again. Here, here, here. Look at it real, real closely. Like, really, like, look at the detail. Uh huh. And open both your eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a total normal thing yeah, to say. I already have tinnitus. You can't get double eyes. tinnitus. <laughs> Joke's on you. Uh, eyes already open. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> open both your eyes. Here, Wider. Look at this. All right, now open your eyes. <laughs> All things considered in the dark zone, the AI enemies are by far the best part. Like the dudes that just run up to you, shout a one-liner, and shoot Moo in the face are god to your adversaries. Oh, oh. that's great. Did you hear the, the so, some of the things these guys are shouting? They just run up, fuck the division. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's the simplest voice lines that hit the heart. Fuck. Extraction. <laughs> I'm gonna tell your wife that your last words were, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> so what happened, Miss Moo? Is there were these guys, they it's rolled Ms. up Moo, on us Ms. and said, Moo. fuck the division. He was like, we're not having that. And then Moo died. Not to mention the foam blaster enemies that cover you in silly string and try to light you on fire like an eighth grade birthday party. You wanna see what I can do? Oh, you wanna see what I can oh, do? Yeah, let's see what you can do. Uh, die? No, no, he's, he's oh, she's shooting oh, like fire. Silly string on me. Why? More flashbangs, oh, by the way. Oh, oh, the foam oh, blaster! Oh, oh, the oh, foam oh, blaster! Oh, break free! Hey, at least he, the oh, foam guy! Foam. More foam guy! I can't help you. I'm not entering the foam zone. God, why the is this guy so whoa, good? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm foamed up again. You know what? This has given me a new perspective because now every time I'm on, on cover with foam, I'm gonna say to myself, at least I'm not on fire anymore. <laughs> Are we fighting inside of an oil drum? Why is everything on fire? <laughs> And even though it seems like the division is much more about PvE Dark Zone type experience than a standard PvP type experience, conflict was still pretty fun. Mainly because our squad was accidentally placed on different teams, which meant that we could communicate with each other just fine while also trying to kill each other at the same time, which is arguably more entertaining given the opportunity for maximum BM. No, but all of my callouts will just be like, Tuck sucks, so it doesn't that's, matter. That's, that's not nice. I'm literally gonna hit the fattest oo woo on you that I can. <laughs> and to make a long story short, Tux just couldn't hang. He was simply outmatched and outplayed. Yeah, oh, boy. No, that's Good thing no those shields me. don't guard against headshots, my guy. Yeah, I'm gonna thirst you too. I'm gonna thirst you. Moo was straight bullish. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're not camping on rooftops. We don't do that nonsense. No. You are camping on rooftops. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I didn't. What? I did not not say that. You peak again, Badger. Peak again right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? You ready? Please you ready? Me. All right, all right. And I'm up. And I'm down. Oh, good shot. Stop Real that good that shot. shot. <laughs> like whack a mole. <laughs> oh, I see you though, boy. I see your ass, boy. Just don't. Oh, I'm going to thirst with a 50 cal. That's great. I didn't hit, but somebody else did. Moo and I were nothing short of unstoppable given my superpower of flashbangs and his superpower of dying prematurely. Shotgun, shotgun. I downed one, I downed one. I'm backing up though. I'm backing up. Oh, there's, there's a little another, bit there's too another. much. Because, because. No, please. Flashbang. Yes, flashbang. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Flashbang. Yes, yes. The flashbang. She had a turret down. No, I got her. Okay, okay. I'm gonna revive you now. Oh, nice. I'm not gonna thirst her. Oh, are you good? What? I could use a revive. Hello? Uh, where did you go? Right here. Oh, oh. I was I, hiding. I thought you were the woman. <laughs> Which one are you, Moo? Uh, the one that's <laughs> dying. The one that's bleeding to death. <laughs> You see that guy just might, hemorrhaging blood on the ground? Might, That's me. You might recognize me. So Team Deathmatch was super simple, but once we switched to the domination style mode of conflict, that was just way too much for Tux to handle, and the reason why hit him like a sledgehammer. Hey, you know what's weird to think about, Tux? Every book you've ever read is only comprised of 26 letters, just in a different order. <laughs> what just killed You just got <laughs>
Great, 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 great start. Yo, at least we're capping the objective. All right, we got it. I got sniped. Go for Charlie. Go for Charlie. The capture point just dropped on his head. No child left behind except for if it's Tux or Moop. That was amazing. All right, I'm capping. Fortunately, now that all four of us were back in the same squad, we started pulling out fat doves thanks to my LMG spraying and general lack of empathy for the enemy team. Oh, it doesn't feel so good to have a shield against you now, does it? Now, does it? And that is about it. I would like to thank you so very much for watching. One final thank you to you, Sal, for sponsoring this video. And no, I was not trying to sound infected with a virus to increase your immersion in the plot of the division. I just coincidentally happened to have been sick over the past week. I think I ate some off squirrel meat in an airport or something. I don't know. That's what it feels like. So I promise, next video, I will not sound like I'm trying to cosplay Squidward. Man, it's like a grapefruit is stuck in my trachea. <laughs>